Hey everybody, David Fine here from Watch Your Lip. Guys, I'm on I'm in the Florida Keys on some private property. Guys, this is actually a quarry that is private property. I have permission from the landowner to be here and actually not for fishing. I'm actually I have permission to do this. I'm actually doing a, a moth survey. And I'm studying the moths of the Florida Keys. And a lot of people don't realize that that your fishing guy here is a bug nerd. But I actually have a website. It's keysmoths.com. We've identified 639 species of moths just from the Florida Keys and still counting. And so every time we put lights out like this, uh, we find new species. And so I'm inviting you to check that out. We have a YouTube channel there. It's called Keys Moths. K-E-Y-S-M-O-T-H-S. -S. I'm inviting you to check out what we're doing there. We have tons of fun with the butterflies and moths of South Florida. You, you have no idea how much of a nerd I am. Check out that channel. But anyway, while I'm here looking for moths, there's a quarry. And I'm going to see if we can catch anything here. And I just brought a couple fishing poles. And guys, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Um, I got my truck over here. I'm gonna switch over here and show you what I'm gonna do. All right, so I, what I did is I cut some squid up and I've got uh, I've got 10 pound test on my Shimano Stratic um, braid and I'm, I've got 20 pound fluoro with a little tiny circle hook. And I'm just gonna use some little pieces of squid like this, see if I can catch a, a grunt or something, some kind of little fish, maybe a sand perch. And we're gonna throw them out and see what the heck might eat a grunt or something in this quarry. In fact, guys, there's a visitor that I want to show you guys. Check this out, guys. Um, right out here, I'm going to be sort of be quiet, but there's a pink eye in the middle of this quarry, and I want to show you guys what it is. He's watching me, and I'm watching him. Check this out. I'm going to shine my spotlight on this bam that is what i believe is an alligator yes it is it's pretty decent size too he's going down now i think it was an alligator guys he went down now it looks like he might be coming back up he's pretty decent size he's at least six feet Yep, there he is. Yeah, it looks like an alligator. I think it's an alligator. Anyway, this is a saltwater quarry, so it's kind of interesting that we have an alligator in salt water. This is, I mean, a straight salt water. I'm in the lower keys. I mean, there's not a whole lot of fresh water around, and he's chilling out there. So um, he's not that big. I'm not too, I'm not like worried about him or anything, but I'm going to start fishing. So. Let's see what we can find in here. In fact, this saltwater quarry has got some big crustaceans chilling up in here. The owner told me that there's spiny lobster. There, he says that there's stone crabs. And oh, I want to show you one of these things. I forget what they're called. Oh, let me see. Where is he? climbing down these rocks real quick. All right, I'm gonna show you this guy real quick. Um, I forget what they're called, but that's a big old crab. And they come right up to the water's edge and they're eating, I think they eat I don't know what he's eating. He's picking something out of the rocks. Oh, he's picking up the little snails. He's eating the little snails. There's little tiny snails that are right on the, in the rocks. And he's going to town on that. Anybody ever seen something that ugly? Look at that monster.
they're all over the place. Um, so we've got in this in this quarry we've got those things, whatever they are, stone crabs. There's there's spiny lobsters. There is uh, dude. He actually almost crawled right out of the, onto the land. And there's little minnows there. I'm gonna use you for bait. Um, there's a uh, blue crab. I saw a blue crab swim by. I saw some mangrove snapper. Um, a long time ago, my son actually caught a big snook in here. And the owner of the quarry said that there's a uh, Goliath groupers that are caught in here too. So uh, I'm just going to watch out for my, my alligator friend here, make sure that he doesn't get too close. Um, and I'm going to start fishing with the squid and see what we can find. I'm going to switch over to my GoPro action here in a minute. The quarry has like a rock wall that goes all the way down. It probably goes down, oh, I'd say 12, 12 feet, maybe 10 to 12 feet straight down. So it's a massive place too. Like this, this is a, this is a huge quarry. And so I don't know what this guy's doing in here, this alligator, but um, I, the, the owner says he doesn't believe that it's connected anywhere to the ocean underneath. He's had divers go look for a hole where it might be coming in. The tide comes up and down. So there's obviously, you know, tide water that comes in. It's definitely salt water because we got these saltwater crabs that are in here and mangrove snapper, stuff like that. So let's see if we can get tight, boys. Okay, guys. So first step, I'm going to take some of the squid and I'm going to start chumming here. I'm just throwing it right there by the edge of this, uh, the quarry rock wall. So I'm going to get a couple of these pieces sinking because what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and attract like a grunt or sand perch, something along those lines. Because if I can get a grunt or a sand perch, I might be able to get a snook or who knows, man? Maybe there, maybe there's like a big snapper, Goliath grouper. Uh, who knows what's in here? Maybe a black grouper. All right, here's my bait. Got a little piece of squid. Little tiny, tiny little hook. And it's a number six, Mutu light. No weight. I'm just gonna let this thing drift down. See what happens here. I'm just gonna turn my light off. All right, guys. I got bait fish number one. Let's see what it is. Oh my gosh. Dude. Guys, this is a this is a freaking legal lane snapper. <laughs> unbelievable guys i was not expecting to catch a legal size lane snapper this is like totally totally legal unbelievable that's crazy well we can't use him for bait although he probably would make good bait um i'm i'm not in the mood for filleting fish right now so we're gonna let him go well we're not going to use a lane snapper for bait, so I'm going to let him go. I'm not. I'm not in the mood for filleting fish right now, um, but uh, pretty cool, man. Later, dude. All right, let's get another bait on and try to catch us something that we can actually use for bait. I was not expecting that. Let me get a little bit more of this uh, chum out there. Seemed to like that. Whoa. All right. Fish number two. Oh, he's a digger. Dude. Another lane. Big one. This one's bigger. Holy cow. Dude, this is a this is a 11, 12 inch lane snapper. Nice. Incredible. Awesome, man. 
Look at that bad boy. Two lanes. If I was keeping fish, man, I'd be eating like crazy right now. That's, that's insane. Okay. Two lane snapper. Let's try and get. I don't know. Maybe I just. Maybe I should start keeping these things and have some dinner. That's crazy, man. Big ones, too. Like. All the times I've ever caught lane snapper you get the you get the little guys but you know you, you're getting 11 12 inch lane snapper that's not common it's not it's not easy to do not in short not in a, a landlocked quarry like this either like this is crazy all right let's see so basically what i'm doing is throw a little, couple pieces of chum and I'm letting this sink just float down, no weight. There's no current, so it's not like it's going anywhere, just sinking down to the bottom. Oh, there we go. Whoa, whoa. That's gonna be bigger. He's gonna take him in the rocks. Holy cow. Holy cow. That's a schoolmaster. Nice schoolmaster, bro. Oh. oh. What? Okay, that's... That's a serious fish, dude. That is a serious fish. My gosh. Look at the size of this... That's the biggest schoolmaster I've ever caught. He's nine, probably 14 inches. Oh, wow. Yeah, this, that's a 10 inch bucket. He's, he's four inches. Oh, okay, yeah, you can go in there. I might just fillet you. Heck yeah. All right, guys, biggest schoolmaster I think I've ever caught. He's a good 14 inches. Just want to show you guys a nice, clean, crisp video of him um, in a landlocked quarry right here, guys. This is crazy. So, in the bucket he goes. So, I've got two lanes, 10, 12 inches in there somewhere. And a big old schoolmaster. Let's see what else we can get. <laughs> All right. I'm still debating whether or not. I'm going to keep this snapper. Um, and what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna see if I catch another fatty like that, then I'm gonna wind up keeping them and uh, having some snapper fillets. But if, if this is just a fluke, then I'll probably let them go. Cause I'm not, I'm not going to, uh, Yeah, so, here we go, guys. One more shot. One more shot at this. Let's see how we go. It's, it's wild, man. Yep, there it is again. There it is again. All right, this one's a grunt. Guys, we finally have bait. All right, we have we have bait now, guys. So I'm gonna put this grunt out for bait and see what happens. Yeah, I know. I wouldn't be too excited if I were you either. But I'm excited because I got me a schoolmaster sandwich waiting for me. All right, guys grunt time now this is going to be a little tricky I've got an inline probably a 6-0 circle hook I got 40 pound test leader um, I'm going to put them on a bobber because I don't know what the heck um, 
I don't, you know, I don't want him to swim me underneath the rocks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let him kind of just dangle up here with a bobber. And hopefully the alligator doesn't come on over here. I'll keep my eye on him. But, you know, if there's a grouper or snook or something like that that's cruising the, uh, the edge here, then he'll probably find them. Let me just toss him a little bit out. Oh. Gator got excited. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use, they have these concrete things with these little things here. I'm just going to put this underneath. That's holding it pretty tight. And I'll let that, I'll let that guy just kind of swim around out there and hopefully we get tight, man. We'll see what happens. Okay, let's go for another round. This is fun. Three species so far, two big lanes, a big schoolmaster, and a gr perfect gr Caribbean grunt for bait. Um, the alligator is staying at bay. So I got my grunt, he's out over here, dangling on a bobber. Got robbed. Well, they're hitting quick, man. So far, a bait hasn't lasted more than 30 seconds. That's what happens. I and mean, this is private property. It's all fenced off. Nobody comes in here. That's what happens when you don't have the fishing pressure. Whoa. Holy smokes. Oh my gosh, that guy hit. This is going to be my biggest fish here today. Whatever this is. What is that? Yellowtail. Dude. That is a legal yellowtail, guys, in a quarry. Holy. What the... Oh, all day. That's a 14-inch yellowtail, guys. In a quarry. <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? That is crazy. I'm going to show you guys what's up with this. All right, guys. This was a surprise catching a 13, 14-inch yellowtail snapper in a quarry, guys. Um, on video, no... no sh <laughs> this is no shenanigans guys this is a real deal now he cut me real good with his gill plate but you're going in the pot dude i'm, I'm bringing home snapper fillets guys i've got three species of snapper in the pot right now <clears throat> okay i've got big old big old yellowtail big old friggin lane snapper and a schoolmaster no mangroves that's what i thought i was gonna get mangroves no yellowtail are you freaking kidding me this is sick okay let's keep fishing <laughs> we'll keep fishing okay try again <laughs> we'll keep doing this i'll do this all day Monster yellowtail. There we go. Another good one. Oh my gosh. Another lane. Another big lane. Oh my gosh. What the heck? What the heck? Another big lane, guys. Wow. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. 
to swallow me. Is this going to be the guy that takes my hook? Oh my gosh. This is incredible. This is incredible. Another legal lane. Unbelievable. Oh, I left my rag. Oh yeah. This guy's 11, 12 inches. Okay, so this piece of squid has caught three fish. It's still on the hook. Let's go for number four. What do you say? Can this can I catch a fourth legal snapper? on one piece of little squid. It's incredible. All right, let's see. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, you caught me. Unbelievable. Okay, guys, back at it. I had to cut bait. I had to retie a new leader. Whatever that was that just took me was definitely the biggest fish I've had today. And I've got 14 inch fish in my bucket right now. There we go. That's so quick, man. This is mangrove. Okay. There's the quattro. <laughs> Unbelievable. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I just caught four species of snapper. Oh yeah. Nice mangrove, probably 12 inches. Let's see, it's nine, yeah, it's 11. He's a good 11 inches. Definitely legal. And we'll add him to the collection of snapper for the feast. 